from Germany all the way here to the Mohawk Valley. Eyewitness News reporter Ben Dennis brings us an update as Saranac shows us some new growth. Over on Edward Street, we are uh, putting in the new fermenting and aging tanks uh, that are part of our uh, brewery capacity expansion and modernization. Nick Mapp is the chairman and CEO of FX Matt Brewing Company, and he says the tanks are another component associated with the brew house expansion near Court Street. It's a real modernization of the brew house, and it's going to allow us to have a lot of variability in terms of size. Our current brew house is, is beautiful, but they're all 500 barrel kettles, and frankly, it's been kind of a strategic weakness for us. And in this day of craft beer and new things all the time. To be able to do smaller brews and the new will be able to do anything from 120 to 480 barrels. So it'll give us a great deal of flexibility and then the new fermenting and aging tanks can handle all of that. And if you take a quick look behind me, nine out of 16 tanks currently stand on site. More are said to arrive from Germany in the near future. There will be 12 of them that are 960 barrels and four of them that are 480 barrels. The cargo was sent across the Atlantic to St. Lawrence County before every tank makes its final journey to Utica. Matt says with more brewing capabilities, he's optimistic for job growth. Where the real jobs are is mostly in the bottling department, and at least right now we don't have a second shift plan, but we're starting to push on that actually, and so hopefully as we get into next year, we may well be looking at a second shift. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.